Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add music to your Shopify store. Really easy and simple to do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a website to create a widget for your store. It's going to allow your customers to listen to any kind of music you would like. You could upload your own music as well. Very, very easy to do. So all you have to do is go over to the link in the description. It'll be over to this website called Elfsite. It's going to allow us to create our widget. So once we're on here, we're going to go up to the widget category at the top. And under audio, we're going to go to audio player. Once audio player is opened up here, we want to click on create widget up here. And then it will bring us to this page right here where we could decide on our template for our widget. Now you can click through these and look at what options you have. Uh, I like minimalistic stuff. So I like this one right here just because it's less demanding on your screen. It takes up less space. Uh, so I'm going to choose this one for the tutorial, but feel free to look through these for yourselves and decide what one which works best for you. Uh, but once you're done deciding on your template, you just want to click on continue with this template. And then here you'll see all the tracks that are included with this template. Uh, so to delete these, you just want to click on the trash bin right here uh, to delete some. But if you want to keep them, you can go ahead and keep them or keep some of them. Now, if you want to add your own music, you can just click on this little add button right here. And then you're able to upload some songs that you have on your desktop and put the title and artist and stuff like that. And even an image if you would like to. So if you want to add some custom music, you can go ahead and do that here as well. But uh, once you're back on here, you could change the location and uh, what area it plays in. So if you uh, want to play songs in a certain order, you can go ahead and change the order of those right here just by clicking and dragging on the left side. Now, if you want to change the look and location of your uh, widget, you can just go through these categories up here at the top, like layout to change the layout and the position or the player. Uh, if you want to change images and artists and stuff like that, or autoplay and then style as well. If you want to change the color scheme to light, dark or whatever else you would like to change it to. But once you're done customizing your widget, you just want to click on join to install. And then you just want to click on sign up with Google or just sign up in general, however you would like to do that. Or of course, if you have your account, just log in already. But I'm just going to choose the sign up with Google option here. And then I'm just going to click on one of my uh, Google accounts. And then once you are signed up, it's going to open up your page and then it'll open up to your where your widget left off. But now you'll be signed in. So now what you want to do on the top here is just click on save. And then it'll open up to this page right here. Here you want to decide on the light package just because it's free. But if you would like to sign up for more uh, widgets, you can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, but I'm just going to click on the free option here. And then it's going to give us this line of code. We're going to want to click to copy this code. And then we're going to head back over to our Shopify store uh, page here. Now we want to go over to online store. And then we're going to go over to our theme that we're using right now. So mine is the Brooklyn theme I'm using right now for my store. I'm just going to click on actions and then edit code. And you can click on leave here if that pops up for you. And then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to go to our theme.liquid. If you don't see it on yours, it's usually under layout and then just theme.liquid. Once you're on here, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And then you just want to paste that new code that we have. Once you're done that, you just want to click on save. And then if you head over to your website now, you should be able to see that on your store. So we'll go down here and as you guys see, the widget is here for your customers to listen to some music on your store. I hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to add the music widget to your Shopify store. If this was helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.